Hello again, friends. Uh, if you can't tell, this video is being made the same day as my last video. And today I have yarny goodness. Woohoo! Um, I had several yarn hauls that I have not shared. Let me move this just a little. There we go. Um, one was, uh, I bought a, a bunch of yarn to make some uh, Christmas presents. And another one, I just, I, I had, hadn't bought yarn in so long. I'd done just about run out of everything except for scraps and stuff. But there were specific colors that I wanted. So I ordered a bunch of yarn and from Joann's. And while I was there, I saw this stuff, and my best friend who used to make all my scrubbies passed away, so I thought, well, hey, you know, I, I don't have to do without scrubbies forever. I can make my own with, with this stuff. But she used to use uh, a netting. It, kinda, it wasn't tool, but it was a netting similar to tool. Well, anyway, uh, it was either Charmed Grammy, no, not Charmed Grammy, Creative Grandma or Sarah Sack had a tutorial using this yarn. It's Scrub Soak Stitch Soak Scrub. And it's nylon. Well, I bought four and I decided to follow those tutorials there's a couple of other ones that I might try but this was for a round one and this is double thick and I've got one in yeah there's there's these two plus I think there's enough for one more it may be smaller than these but I think there's enough for one more plus I still have this one So I was I was super happy about that. Hold on a second, I need to open my open a drink. I got a can of uh, can of to dry zero sugar. I'm making a video, dear. That was my sweet, wonderful most of the time. <laughs> anyway, I had made a couple of squares for my nightmare blanket and I got two of them sewn together there's zero that blanket's going to be adorable <coughs> but I haven't worked on it and it's getting close to August I need to I'm not going to be able to I'm not going to be able to finish that blanket but I definitely want to finish my grandson's blanket, so I'm going to have to pick up work on it. <coughs> anyway, some of the other stuff I've made is I fin finally finished this beanie. It took me a long time because I don't like the yarn. And this is actually made in one piece, and, and, and it cinches at the, the center while you're making it. And then you just sew the two halves together. So that can go to charity now. And then uh, I got inspired by Llama Mama Kayla. Now these have been worn and uh, they were washed, but they weren't dried in the dryer, so they haven't shrunk up and they're longer than what they should be. But those are the slipper socks. It should be a whole lot shorter, but they're all—they're still all stretched out. But now I can wear them again. Of course, I may not wear them again till winter time because they're nice and cozy in the winter. And then um, one of my my friend that uh, had cancer, her daughter moved near me, and I was trying to help her out, so I wanted to make her a hot pad. 
So I did did the, the hot pad where you 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 make it all in around, or you make a you know that way, and then you, when it can fold in on itself like that, then you sew it together. So I made one of that, and then I was watching uh, Rebecca at Yarn and Pajamas. Oh. And she was making hot pads with a pattern from Sarah Sack, triple thick pot holder. So I decided that I wanted to make some. The same on both sides. This here was just made out of, the middle one was made out of scraps. And then these were two multicolored. The, the one in the middle is a little bit different. I had to use, to get three out of it, I had to use a little bit of, of something else. And then I made this one. And this inside is totally scrap, scrap, scrappy. And then I had some with a solid pink and a multicolored pink. Yeah, I, I, I had a bunch of car, uh, cotton yarn from uh, Rebecca from Yarn and Pajamas. She donated some when I was trying to to uh, make a bunch of washcloth to send to Lynette at Charmed Grammy. Because I wanted to win one of her little uh, stained glass yarn balls. And I did win one. And then I did this one. I took the yellow out of there and put that in the center and then I got a Christmas one so uh, the person I intended them for she moved away so these will be will be donated to uh, the charity at the church they they find people who, who whenever I donate and something they will find people who need them or organizations who need them it, it, it's like within a, a week a request will come in for that particular item so I know they can find a place for these there was one woman at the church I don't know if she still does it because I haven't talked to her in a while because you know I haven't been able to go down there uh, She used to take washcloths and, and dish pads and stuff like this. And uh, in her town, she was part of the welcome wagon. I mean, welcome wagon. And she would uh, include these in her welcome baskets. And then uh, they do cater to a lot of um, not homeless, but underserved, underprivileged people. Who they may have had the house burned down and they're starting new and they just need stuff. You know, they they they've got just about everything, dishes and all, excuse me, all kinds of stuff. I just can't get comfortable. Yeah. Anyway, okay, I got one more. Sh That's still the granny square I was working on. I got one more pile to show you. Is I don't remember who inspired me, but I had some yarn in there, and I'd made a hat. Pretty color. Yeah, it's totally not that color, and I got hair everywhere. It's 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 just more like a a, a jade or something. It's it's a beautiful green. And then I watched somebody on on. I wanted something different, so I watched somebody that made bucket hats. So here's my first attempt at bucket hat. Now it's a little bit big, but I figured they got people with big hair or big heads <laughs> that this would be perfect for. I don't know if it'll go to homeless or, or, or where, but it'll go somewhere. And then um, I owe. Rebecca from Yarn and Pajamas, uh, 
some explanations and part of the of the, of the video because I got lucky part of my rehabilitation back into to crocheting and, and, and getting around was that I saw on Facebook in my community talk page that somebody had some yarn they were wanting rid of so naturally I went and I got some and I told Rebecca from yarn and pajamas about it and she wanted me to make a video I never did so I, I, I owe her some explanation and some show and tell so I didn't have enough of that color to make another one so I uh, I got some scraps I got some boy scraps and I got some pink and purple and girly colored so I made some bucket hats with that now most of that yarn was yarn I don't normally use like this there's a bunch of really thick yarn in there and I like that too I think there was a bag and a half of the really thick yarn and then there was some oddballs I guess this is uh there was uh even one from from a thick yarn from Aldi's and then there there's a bag that was full of um sachet yarn type yarn or rib ribbon type yarn and then there was some real thin yarn in there too specialty type yarn and then there's a, a bag of um it's it's part wool and part acrylic i think i'll show that later it's 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 back in behind there and then I got a, at least half a bag, if not a whole bag, of this. It's beautiful. And then I got, well, I'll, I'll show, show most of it later, but most of it was boo clay type yarns. And I got a bag of velvet yarn. So I, 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 as, as I get to it and go through it and make stuff from it, I'll share. Well, anyway, in in the scrap theme, I used a bunch of scraps to make this. I really like the way this one came out as far as colors go. And believe it or not, this was several different balls of brown multi. And this was two different yarns to make another one and this wasn't a whole scheme but it was part of a scheme of purple i really like this one i think i've got two in this or i've at least got enough yarn to make another one of these i don't know i i got interrupted making these by <laughs> something else Oh yeah, Llama Mama Kana, Kayla, she's such an inspiration. And one of the things that she was making was uh, she was taking Granny Square and making cross body bags out of it. So I had some leftover yarn from a blanket I made. So I made myself a couple. Now this was in a bag because... I'm thinking about making some sort of applique or something to put on it. I didn't have enough yarn to make the handle long. But there is some uh, darker pink. It's a different shade of pink. Yeah, my light isn't good enough to, to show the difference. And then I've got this dark pink. Where I could make some sort of applique to put on there. So that's why that's still in that bag. I just I've been busy and haven't got creative. That. 
I'm trying to separate these as I go. Now I'll show you these two bags and then I gotta get off here. But this was some leftover yarn out of a bunch of it's a uh, colorway is salmon but it's a really old yarn I don't have the most of this yarn I have doesn't have ball bands on it and I have to put a button on that and I ran out so I uh, trimmed it in white I gotta put buttons on these so I can't get rid of them quite yet but I can put them aside now uh, I do have some more to show you uh, in some wearables and some blankets I've been working on and that will come next time and that may be a while before I record it it depends on when I get around to organizing enough because most of these are right there. Yep, there. Hanging on that. Oh, I got an itchy nose. Well, anyway, I enjoy talking to you. And, and I'll see you again real soon. Don't forget to be kind to each other. Because you never know what somebody else is going through. Until next time. Bye.